Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotz, who's psychopaths and music. So it's a study that's found that people who've got psychopathic traits have got specific tastes in music. And this is what was investigated. It's not, however, the classical music, as you'll be led to believe by films like Silence of the Lambs and Clockwork Orange. It's slightly different. So this is done by a team from New York University and they looked at 200 people and from those 200 people they listened to 260 different songs from a whole range of different genres. So far this is preliminary work and it's unpublished and the point of it is to trigger a further study which looks at thousands of people across the entire psychopathy spectrum. So if you like Sharona by the Cax and Titanium by Sia, then you're amongst the least psychopathic people. Those are scored the highest of psychopaths are people who liked Black Street No Diggity, one of my faves, and Eminem Lose Yourself. Again, I'm like, what? I'm not a psycho. And I also found that there are genes which relate to being a psychopath, but that's a bit harder to determine. And people who have psychopathic tendencies are more likely to read the Financial Times. So the point of the study is to get to a point where you can look at somebody's playlist and that gives you an indication of how much of a psychopath that person could be. And it's thought that about 1% of the general public have got psychopathic tendencies and up to 20% of those people in prison can be classed as psychopaths. The issue here is that there's a difference between psychopathy as a psychological condition in which you find it hard to emotionally relate to other people and being an absolute full-on, in the movies, raging, psychopath, serial killer, murderer. There's a huge difference between the two, but they both share very similar traits. Psychopaths lack emotional empathy in that they find it difficult to relate to people based on their body language or their tone of voice. They find it difficult to feel their feelings. But they can have cognitive empathy, where they visually pick up on clues and then they can appear to be empathetic based on the clues that they pick up, but they never actually feel the empathy for the person. As far as I'm concerned, we need psychopaths in society. I'm not talking about the serial killer psychopaths, I'm talking about the people that can make these tough decisions without guilt or without shame, these very hard life or death decisions. People in the emergency services, people who are in the armed forces, people who are, are CEOs in businesses, People who had uh, these, we need these people on society to help us think about these decisions without having the emotional aspect of it. So you can still be a, a psychopath and be very successful, but not have that malevolent intent. This is a very slippery slope where you're kind of arresting people based on their music choice, based on other indicators which say they could be psychopaths, but they may never ever kill anyone. That is Psychopaths and Music. Thanks for watching. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye.